All right, well, here it is. This is the 50 FFB, the freaky fast bullet. That on there. It will focus. Let's focus in this literally a second ago. There it is. So, yeah, that is the steel penetrator on there from a steel core from a 50 BMG. This is like the steel core that's inside. This was from a different one. It was a complete fail. It's very hard metal. I was trying to find my scale. I was looking through my reloading stuff, trying to see how much it weighs. These are 245 grain. And that was pretty heavy, but I would say it's definitely going to be under 300 grain. It's a prototype, so don't get too, uh, too hung up on the beauty of it there. <laughs> or, or lack thereof, I guess, huh? But check this out when I was uh, rooting through my... Uh, Reloading stuff. I, accelerators. These things were amazing. They were 55 grain uh, bullets for the 3030. Unfortunately, I had a bunch of these boxes and they're all just brass. I was like, oh man. But I found like hundreds of rounds of 270. Check these out. These are 100 grain. I wish the prices were still even like that too. Especially nowadays. Oh, let me set this down. I really have to pull an empty one out. Got our open box wrong side. That's cool. I found like probably a couple hundred rounds of 300 wind mag too. Just do a lot of reloading. Yeah. Should try these out. The 100 grain 270 bullet. And these, these are pretty cool. I reloaded these. are full metal jacket on a 300 wind mag. I forget. They're light. They're about 100, 110, 20, somewhere in that ballpark. They're light. I'm going to try these out too, see how fast they shoot. I said it's one problem with these bullets I've been using. I, I knew this from the get-go. These are exactly 50 cal, half inch. And let me grab this one down there real quick. Okay, then as you can see there, it's... uh. 5.15 so that ones are quite a bit smaller so I'm sure you're losing a lot of velocity and kind of bouncing in the barrel a little bit there so it'd be nice if I could put some kind of coating on like Teflon coat or something but we're heading up to camp to do some deer hunting so maybe when I get back we'll just try it anyway no ain't gonna hurt to try it looks so cool if I had a lathe this would be a lot easier to make that thing. See what happens.